So in regards to what is the best way to become a personal trainer, when it comes to using colleges as you just come out of school, they're great for the entry level stuff, building a good foundation. However, the two main options that you then have is going down the university route or the individual training provider route, such as FutureFit. When it comes to universities, they will give you often a very broad range of information and it can take a, a long time or many years to narrow that down to find your specific niche. When you are working with an individual training provider, what you find is the information can be tailored and your experience can be very much carved to where you want to go and you can get there in a much shorter time frame because you're able to speak to leading industry experts through the training provider you're utilizing such as FutureFit and this will help you cultivate your niche and help the people that you are best suited to help and most skilled to help in the shortest period of time which is more beneficial to your career. One tough question that often comes up with people is how do I know what is the best course or the best provider for me? Now this is very common because people they don't want to waste their money or their time. Now, I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to working with individual training providers, the benefit that you have is that you can speak to their tutors, the teaching staff, and the specialist staff that are linked in, either through their social media platforms, or just contact them saying, can I have a word with this person? And they will get in contact with you to explain and answer your questions in the best way they can. This is to ensure that you will not be lost or feel like you're just taking a random guess or a stab in the dark. You'll be able to make an objective rational choice of okay these are the questions I had this is the information they provided they also gave me this extra bit of information which I hadn't considered this is where individual training providers are incredibly beneficial to you when you're looking to get into the personal training industry because we will essentially give you the right information to help you make the best choice for yourself so when it comes to starting your learning journey, what you will find from FutureFit as an individual training provider is we will give you a guideline, right, a frame of reference in the best way to learn in the most optimal way. We also provide you with additional reading lists and benefits that you can utilize to help speed up your process and deepen your knowledge. As an example, we have a platform called the ProZone, which is a specifically created online entity for fitness professionals to help their development. We cover business, biomechanics, nutrition, health, mental wellness, so that this is all information that will benefit you as a coach, a PT, and also help you help more people. This can be tricky, however, that is why we will provide you with that extra information so that you know where is good to look and what is good to place your time into to gain the most out of your learning and your qualification. One question people often have is, what sort of insurance do I need? Now, typically, you just need your public liability, often for a cover of up to 10 million. Now, if you start to go into more specific endeavors, you might need a music license, a PPL license. You may start to go towards special populations, in which case you'll need to find an insurance provider that offers special populations, which may be GP referral related, age related. Now the reason for having this is to protect not only yourself but your clients as well and to ensure that they feel safe and comfortable and supported so that just in case anything does go awry, there is an injury or a bit of an accident, that there's going to be no negative repercussions and everything will be covered by the insurance. So it is crucial to have. I would suggest like researching about three or four different providers, just double checking, making sure that what you need is offered by them and covered and then signing up for an entire year and protecting yourself. So in regards to gaining experience, this is something that some people will be a bit worried about. Don't worry. Three ways that you can tick this off. First one is directly approaching gyms. It go into a gym and ask to speak to the manager, the owner, whoever's there, and see what they have to offer. You can even go and drop in a CV, proper old school. Second is to apply online. Most facilities, most venues, most, most sort of gyms, you can apply online and they will get back to you with what they'd like you to do and how they'd like you to progress. The third one is you can offer to go and shadow people, PTs, individual training facilities and studios and private gyms for free. Just go and offer your help. Right, you'd like to learn, explain what you're looking to do. The benefit of you being there, you can help like tidy the weights, you can help with the members, welcome them, all those kind of things. What I would suggest is getting in touch with somebody who is already in the industry or speaking to an individual training provider such as FutureFit and just asking for any of their top tips because we'll be able to give you some specific information that you can then go away and apply. For me personally, I'd say just be direct and go and speak to the, the gym or the place or the person you want to work with and just be upfront with them. Say, I'd like to learn from you because you're awesome. 
So gaining employment, once you have become qualified, this is something that some people will start to worry about. You don't need to. If you have an individual training provider, such as FutureFit, you'll find that we will guarantee interviews with very reputable fitness brands and fitness establishments like Nuffield, Active, Exercise for Less. And what this will do is this will get you the foot in the door where you can then build experience and start to gain a good perspective of working in a gym as well as having the element of self-employed is there as well. Now, when it comes to what is better, being self-employed or being employed, that's going to come down to your own personal preference. I would always say self-employed is good because it makes you put in the most effort. You have to succeed. Whereas being employed, you then sometimes have to follow a set career path, which may or may not be as quick, shall we say, as you want it to be. So that will come down to your own lifestyle need and where you see yourself being in the, the first year, the third year, the fifth year. This is where you will then be able to speak to somebody at FutureFit and have a discussion about the career option and to find which one is best for you because everyone's life is slightly different and everyone's time frames are different. That's where you're going to need to sit down with a professional and just discuss what the best option for you is, which is something we will provide for you. So building a client base, this is one of the common questions that always comes up. Truth be told, you want to try and give yeah, just give, give as much as you can to the people. Now this might be in the form, uh, if you're taking online content, of a free ebook, um, seven training strategies for those short on time, uh, six steps to meal prep for busy people. You might even look at giving somebody some training consultations. Okay, book in for a free training consultation, 30 minutes, all, all this week. So you're giving them little things that will help them with their problems. Additionally, you can offer a reward-based scheme. So every time they buy a session from you, you give them a little stamp on, say like a, you want a business card, you might have a business card. On the back of it, you have like maybe eight stamps. You give them a stamp every time they have a session with you and when they have eight done, they then get a free session or potentially a discount on a block of sessions or a month of training, just to incentivize them to continue to work with you, so they are being rewarded for their loyalty. Another excellent tool for building your client base is social media. Now, when it comes to this, this is where you will find learning how to use Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. They're all very, very useful. This is where using social media as a fitness professional is a skill in itself because you need to deliver high quality information that is engaging, fun, and that people connect with. That's the key part. Just talking on social media is one thing. You need to learn how to connect with people. Now, at FutureFit, we cover this in our Building the Fitness business. We also cover it on the Pro Zone, and we put up a lot of content on our social media as well to help you in building yours. Okay, guys, in closing, what I'd like you to do now is please go over to the FutureFit website and download your seven-step guide to becoming a personal trainer and fitness professional. This is something that FutureFit have put together for you and has a comprehensive amount of information. Also, please remember to go and follow us on social media. If you have any questions, get in touch and one of our tutors and support team will gladly be in touch with you to answer them. And we hope to hear from you very soon.